Okay, this is a part two of the ESP, Arduino, and the relays. So um, in this version, I'll show you here the little command, well, little drawing I drew. So the broker sends a command to the ESP, and the ESP then sends a command to the Arduino. Arduino executes that command whether turning the relays on or off, these four. Then it, after it turns them on or off, it responds back in the transmit line back to the Arduino, and Arduino receives it. And after Arduino, I mean, after the ESP receives it, it sends a command back to the broker, let the broker know that the relays have been turned on or off. And let me do a quick demonstration. So whenever I press a zero, relay one turns on. You can see the light turned on. I press one, it turns off. Two, three, four, five. When then relay four, relay four off. So it's really, really simple. And I'll show you the code here in a second. But here, in the first video, the ESP would only send commands. It would not receive anything from the Arduino. Here I have both of the wires that transmit and receive line plugged into the Arduino. So Arduino talks back whenever it turns the relay on. And this all happens really fast. There's almost like, almost no delay. I don't know if you can, just maybe a little bit, because all these are communicating together let me turn that off. So the broker sends a message to the ESP. ESP sends a message to Arduino. Arduino executes it. Then Arduino sends back to the ESP. And ESP sends it back to the broker. It's kind of complicated, but here, let me show you the code. Okay, so this is the code to upload to the Arduino Nano. And uh, over here, it's, it's the same code as the other video that I have. But just there's a few changes. So here I declared the pins, the output. for of the, They're going to be outputs to the um, relays and um, these are high because whenever a pin is low it turns the relay on whenever it's high it turns it off so it's a little opposite than usual uh, and remember Arduino is listening in serial from the ESP so everything it gets in serial it stores it in this variable over here and I have a switch statement so if whenever Arduino receives a zero from the ESP, it will turn the pin 12 low, which is um, relay one on, and it's gonna respond back in a serial of A. And uh, let me grab this code over here. So let's look at this right quick. This is a code to be uploaded to the ESP8266. You will need these two libraries, your uh, IP address of your uh, brokers, I, of, of the broker, or the Raspberry Pi in my case. And then of course, in another video, I'll show you how to set that up. Um, your SSID Wi-Fi and then the password of the Wi-Fi. In the callback function over here, uh, whenever a broker sends a zero to the ESP, ESP sends a zero in a serial, and then in my response function, it waits for the response from the Arduino. So whenever a zero is sent, Arduino receives a zero, and Arduino turns the uh, relay one on, and it responds of, with A, back to the ESP and an ESP whenever it receives an A in a response let's go to the response whenever it receives an A it sends um, relay one is on to the out topic back to their uh, Raspberry Pi to confirm that it's been on so all of these so whenever a B is received it does that C D E F G so I just use these single letter codes of either either numbers one through nine or letters A through H just to, to speed up the process because the more more letters you have the longer it's going to take for them to be sent to the, to the serial although it does happen really really fast i just don't want to chance any more delays than necessary so i just did really simple a's i mean little alphabets or numbers so that's the only uh, changes to the code that i have everything is the same so i'll just scroll through this is the code for the nano um i have my little setup function in the loop so it just loops back and forth, it's just reading the serial line. And if any of these match, if, if a zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are received, it does that. And that's all of the code. And let me go to their um, ESP code. So all Liz does is it, you know, sets up the password, then it gets a serial line going, then it connects to the Wi-Fi. Then um, it loops this client MQTT uh, connection. And uh, if the connection is lost, it just tries to reconnect. And in the callback function, this is where uh, if it receives a zero, this is the payload. The payload is what's coming from the 
broker. So if it receives a number from the from the broker, it matches it with the correct uh, one of these. So the if statement, and it responds through the serial command um, to the Arduino. And then here the response from the Arduino. So if it gets a response from the Arduino, whether it's whatever letter it is, A, B, C, or D, it publishes in the um, it publishes in the out topic that relay one is on, relay one is off, or whichever relay is on or off, and that's it. And then void if it loses connection, it starts to reconnect. And that's all of it. Well, hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, comment. If you have any ideas um, of anything I should make, let me know.